Hey guys, it's Susan here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for um, demographically. I'm shooting for you busy moms out there, but this really can apply to anyone. Um, I know it's really challenging to watch a 15 minute video of a how to new tutorial. What's the new trend? Um, I know too, you moms probably are like, I don't have 15 minutes to do my makeup. So we're going to try it and do a five minute get ready so not going to go in any more details let's just jump right into it so uh first i'm going to start with the primer i'm going to use the makeup forever step one moisturizing primer it's a little dirty because i use it a lot um so I'll just apply this to my fingers i use like that much apply it keep that makeup on all day do some on my neck a little okay so now I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the color ivory in case you're wondering um, it's got this little applicator so I just apply it to my forehead my cheeks and I do apply it to my neck a little bit because you want to blend that color all the way down don't really want to have a white neck because that's not attractive. I look like I'm a tribe member. What up? So I'm going to use the a beauty blender. You can use a brush too. I just feel like this might be the fastest way to go about it. I usually just start at the top. Work my way down. Sorry, I'm kind of looking down <laughs> at this mirror. But I guess I can look in the camera too. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'll blend it out. Let me look in the mirror, just double check. All right, so now I'm going to go to the, I'm using the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Concealer. I'm using the color light. I'm gonna apply this right under my eyes. Kind of a little bit of a triangle, like so. And then I always do it right around my nose. Um, us women, we get hormonal and it just causes this redness around the nose. So I apply it right there too. And I always do some down the nose a little bit. Again, I look like a tribe member or something. So I'm going to blend that out. to kind of help conceal, make you look brighter and awake and beautiful like you're the best mom that's ever existed because we all know being a mom is freaking hard. And I'm not even a mom, but I'm an aunt and I get a tiny, tiny taste of what it's like occasionally when my sisters go on vacation or whatnot. And um, I don't know how you guys do it 24 hours a day, day in and day out. So as you can tell, my eyes look like, hey, I'm wide awake and I'm bright right now. So, um... Don't freak out. It'll be fine. So now I'm going to set it. Um, you can use any like translucent powder. I'm using the RCMA translucent powder. Um, great deal. If you want to find that online, you can use Laura, Laura Mercier's or um, NYX has a great one. So I'm just going to grab some from the top. going to set my under eyes with that. There's no, I mean, it's translucent, so it's not a big deal. Um, just helps keep that there all day. And then I just apply a little bit to all over my face just because... It was a liquid foundation. Alrighty, so now I'm going to do, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, just a little bit of bronzer to kind of just give you a little more dimension to your face, a little bit of a contour, put it right there, over here, and I do this on my neck too, because sometimes I get that double chin look. I'm sure you see it in the videos. It's awesome. It's not. Um, I'm going to do some right here on the side. I'm not going to go over the whole temple or the whole forehead, just on the temples. Um, just helps your face look thinner too. So there's that. I feel like I look like washed out in the video. <laughs> Don't make me redo this. So anyway, just kind of apply it everywhere just to kind of give you some more color now after you kind of 
did that contour. Next, I'm going to be using blush, or I'm going to be doing blush and highlighter, and I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys already know how obsessed I am with that. Um, so I'm going to do blush first. I'm just going to use this Real Techniques blush brush. Um, I'm going to do like the two on the outside. Just a little tap here and there. Give my cheeks some couleur. And then I'm going to take the other side of the brush and grab this highlighter and champagne pop. I like literally can't go a day without highlighting. You can totally skip this step if you want. If you don't have a highlighter. I did a little on my nose because I like to. Um, so that's it for face. Now you're like, well, your eyes, you got to do something with those eyes. So we're not going to do a whole lot here. Um, so I kind of primed them with my primer that I used earlier. So I'm just going to grab a matte neutral shade. I'm going to actually be using the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, they now sell this in Ulta, so you can find it there too. I believe it's $14.50. Um, I'm just going to use this matte transition shade. As you can tell, I'm already hitting pan because I use it all the time. So I'm just going to grab a little of this and put it right here in the crease, just on the outside, just to kind of give you, again, a little more pop of color and just make you look like you had time to do something. Um, so that's about all I'm going to do there. I don't want to do a whole lot because, again, we're trying to do this in five minutes. Um, and then I'm going to grab the shade right next to it. It's a little bit of a shimmer. I'm going to do this on the inside. I'm going to use the same brush because we're busy. we got to go. So I'm going to do this right here. And right here. I'm going to do a little more. Because I like a lot of color. It just makes your eyes look brighter too. You got this like pop of shimmer. It'll look nice. And we're not going to do eyeliner today because we know eyeliner takes just too long. So I'm just going to use uh, Smashbox Full Exposure. It's not waterproof. So don't go to the pool with your kids with this on because you will have um, mascara running down your face. So I'm going to look down at this mirror, but pretty sure you know how to put on mascara. If not, Leave a comment below and I will show you how I do it. It's pretty simple. I go downwards too occasionally. Those bottom lashes. So you can already see, like I, I've got a little more color, more brightness um, from the side to the side, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want to go for. Move my hair out. And you can uh, use an eyelash curler too to curl these up. I'm not going to because I feel like they look pretty good right now. So there's the look so far. Um, two more things. Uh, I can't go a day without doing my eyebrows a little bit. And this is just like the easiest way. I'm using the NYX mascara color. Um, it looks like that. I got this at Ulta. This is in the color brunette. Um, it's super simple. It's exactly like Benefit's Gimme Brow. You just put it on like a mascara but on your eyebrows essentially it just kind of fills them in makes them look a little bit fuller and nicer so you can already tell the difference between this one and this one there's a little bit of more volume to your eyebrows but not a unibrow let's not get crazy y'all so there's that let's do a little pop of color on the lips and then we're done Done, I tell ya. And I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees. I mentioned this before. It's called Blush Basin. It's pretty a, a pretty neutral, pinky color. Um, I love this for like an everyday throw on um, really quick. Hello, lips. Hello, lover. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay. Anyway, so um, like I, I did say that that was the last thing. This is legit the last thing. I just use a Urban Decay's all, or actually this is the Chill Makeup Spreading Setting Spray. Um, it's cooling and hydrating because I kind of have dry skin, especially in the summer. So I just give myself a couple little sprays. Woo! And then you're done. That's it. I hope that was easy enough. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.